Thanks for coming back. Today we review Brave from 2012. It is for this week's Harry Movie Club, curated by Mr. Harry Britt. Be sure to check him out. He's almost at 3,000 subscribers, so let's try to get him there. Brave, as I was saying, is uh, from 2012. It is animated and it is uh, more of a kid film. There are some bits uh, that are adult in humor, so they do kind of still play to the adults that are going to have to watch it with their small children, which I did find enjoyable. The beginning of the movie I thought was going to be a lot like Bambi, uh, spoiler, Fergus gets attacked. Fergus is voiced by Billy Connolly, who is great as always in this. Fergus gets attacked by a huge bear, and they cut to black, kind of like Bambi after you hear the shot. Luckily though, after the fade to black, we come to find that Fergus did live, but now does become king of the land. The movie though isn't about Fergus at all, that's really just the setup to get him to be in the position of power and then murder becomes the princess. The movie is very good at uh, coming full circle and really everything does tie up nice. The will-o'-wisps which I really liked when animated and they uh, are close. You can see they have like little arms kind of like beckoning for murder to follow and when shown up close they have little eyes so they're kind of uh, life. They have a life to them and I just like the animation in this movie overall. And the will o wisps are said to lead you to your fate, which is a legend, I guess. And Merda has heard the legend, so it follows the will o wisps The witch is uh, Julie Walters, and she's Molly Weasley. And I didn't recognize the voice at first, but after realizing it's Molly Weasley, it's funny that in the witch's house they have the broom and stuff acting on their own, because that's kind of what was going on in the Weasley household in the Harry Potter film. It is a good animated film. It has a powerful female message through it. In this case, it seemed like Eleanor, the mother, was more in charge. She really wore the pants in the family. Um, she's the queen, usually the second in command, but behind every man there is that woman. And in this one, she's really stepping out in front. And also, uh, respect your elders and watch your words. And uh, be careful what you wish for. Her, like, wish with the witch was, her wish with the witch was really open-ended. Like, I just want to change my fate. And that was a pretty open-ended thing and I would have been more specific so I do believe Merida is kind of at fault for what happened herself that being said it is a delete I did enjoy the film and I would recommend it if you have to entertain a child or if you do just want to see a new uh, animated film I'd watch it once like I said this was for Harry Movie Club annotation above click on that the playlist is filled out by Mr. Harry Britt each week and it contains all the responses be sure to check out his other things. He does vlogs and funny news, and it is very entertaining. Let's get under 3,000. If you do want to reach me, feel free to do so in the comments below. Tell me what you thought about the movie. If you want to reach me on Twitter, you can do so at MadLFan. You can use hashtag today we review for movies, and today we play is for video games. Right now, it's still Minecraft. If there's any others you'd like to see, let me know. Thanks for watching. Come back to his. Uh, Ron Weasley's mother. What's her name? God damn it. Really? Really? How am I messing this up? How do I not know her name right now? Arthur and... What the fuck? Weasley. What's her name? Arthur and... Arthur and... Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Arthur and... Ma wow, yeah, okay. Ma